Well, folks, I finally got some time to work on the Aaron's loader. I have it down here in the garage, and last weekend I finally gave it a bath for winter, and it cleaned up pretty nice, so it's all clean and ready to go for the snow, which hopefully will be coming soon. Anyways, I finally got some time after the past four years I've owned this tractor since it was restored in 2008 to put the headlights and the taillights back into it. And the bezel in the front, I just primed for now. Uh, in the springtime, I'm probably going to end up painting it since it's too cold to paint right now. I really don't want to paint in here without uh, ventilation and stuff. And I had to bolt it in, so I just got number 10 bolts in there, really small ones. And when I got this tractor, it originally had a 3 8 bolt someone put in there. But I bonded over that and cleaned it up. So it looks fairly good. Once it's all done up, it should look pretty nice. And this light does work. This is a bum light in here I just put in there to get the wiring in. So I'm going to have to find bulbs for them at some point. And I also got rear lights in it also. So I had picked those up at an engine show last year and I finally got around to putting them back in. You can see my fenders are starting to crack again. And you can see the original lights that were in here were a little bit smaller than these. But that's alright. So they still light up pretty good. It's better than what I didn't have, so. There's the rear. And the front is actually too bright. I think it draws too much power. It's a different number from the original. So you can see the amp meter, even though it's a little off. <laughs> because normal is about negative one. But that's alright. So those went in pretty good. I spent today after school doing that. So I get them in, and I also had to fix because this is fiberglass, and the stud over here ended up breaking off the fixture that it screws into it. So I put a number 10 stud in there and glued it in, and I had to re-glue the fixture that the screw goes into in, and that side's okay, luckily. So that worked out pretty nice. It's all wired up in there and tied away from the muffler for when it closes. And you can also see the wooden structure I got up on here. I was thinking about building a cab for this tractor for the winter and I was just making it out of wood first before I go and make it out of steel and find out it's not going to work. And it turns out I don't think I'm going to go through with it just because it would take so much to do and it really wouldn't be worth it by the time everything's done out and price wise and whatnot. And getting it around the loader and having everything work out basically. So I just have an open air like I always had but it was a thought. So anyways, I'll take the cab off and then I'll show you what I did underneath the fender pin here with the rear lights. Alright, so I got the cab off and for underneath the fender pin here got my lights wired up so the wire, the main live wire comes down, chases the gas line underneath and comes up in the back here and the live wire it, uh, everything junctions over here with a connector uh, the live coming over from this side and from the other side I just ran the wire along the back side of the gas tank and behind the gas tank brackets from that lamp and you can also see that the ground wire from here I just grounded it right to the bolt for the straps also which worked out pretty good I got some wire loom on there just to dress it off and hide the stuff underneath so they turned out to be working out pretty good so at least I got lights this winter, which will be nice when it gets dark out and I can't see much of anything. So within the next week off I have from school, I'm going to see if I can't find the original lights for the front. Because the number on those ones are different. Those were out of a wheel horse. These, this number here is, whether you can see it, it's a 271. And the other one's a 276. And I think the amps are a little too high. Because before these ones burned out, they were a little more dim. And... I think these ones are drawing a little bit too much power. As you can see when I turn on the lights and the clutch at the same time, it draws quite a bit. But it's got a 15 amp stator in this engine, so it should have plenty of juice to feed back and keep the battery from drawing out too much. So anyways, that's just a little update on the Aaron's loader. Got some lights on it. So I'm going to see if when the snow flies, hopefully soon, I can't get some videos of this working. And we'll see how it goes from there. So there you have it.